The architect of South Africa's freedom, that's how President Cyril Ramaphosa has described the late struggle icon Oliver Reginald Tambo. Ramaphosa today unveiled a giant bronze statue of Tambo at the Johannesburg airport that is named after him. Tambo, the ANC's longest serving president, would have turned 103 this year. But as ANCA Sipa Mandla Goge reports, there are questions about one aspect of the statue. A giant statue befitting a giant who fought a brutal oppressive regime till the end. It does not only symbolize O Artambo, it symbolizes courage, it symbolizes integrity, it symbolizes tenacity, symbolizes freedom. Oliver Tambo's son, Dali, confirmed he's the one who paid the multi-million rent tender to produce his father's likeness. Only because that's what I do. And uh, we're the best at it. Um, so yes, we did the Mandela at Union Buildings. Uh, we did this. We did all kinds of work um, uh, that is sculptural. We did the Long March to Freedom, where there are 100 statues. We specialize in liberation heritage. So I'm not going to say no uh, when it comes to my father. Dali defended the inclusion of an ANC logo on his father's statue, which is funded by public money. He says O.R. Tambo can't be divorced from the ANC. The ANC badge is there, uh, and uh, very proudly so. The cross is there, and the Freedom Charter is there. And Freedom Charter was also um, a, 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 an ANC uh, uh, initiative. So you can't run away from that, I'm afraid. Okay. How much okay. did this statue cost? You must ask them. Ramaphosa says more needs to be done to honor struggle stalwarts and promote the history of the struggle for liberation. Sipamandla Koke, Johannesburg.